longtime campaigner Ivana Bocic in the upper yard of Dublin Castle where activists met to mark the referendum result. Photo, Jerry Mooney as the country considers the seismic shift recorded on the history books on Saturday with the announcement of the landslide vote in favor of repeal, independent.ie looks at some of the most prolific people in the campaign for repeal down through the years. The repeal of the Eighth Amendment has been a long-standing aim of the Labour Party, having campaigned against its insertion into the Constitution in 1983. Party leader Brendan Hyland pointed out on a number of occasions throughout the campaign that his was a party where repeal was backed by all members. Among the most prolific campaigners in recent decades was Labour Senator Ivana Bocic. Ms. Bocic has been synonymous with the campaign for repeal long before there were jumpers with that logo or an appetite among the majority in Leinster House. Ms. Bocic became active in the pro-choice campaign as president of the Students' Union in Trinity College. In 1989 the pro-life lobby SPUC, Society for the Protection of Unborn Children, sought to have union officers imprisoned for, for providing information on abortion. Mary Robinson represented the group and kept them out of prison. A number of years later the right to distribute information on abortion and to travel was passed by referendum. Catherine Zappone Children's Minister Catherine Zappone was instrumental in ensuring that Friday's referendum took place. As negotiations to form the current government were underway Ms. Zappone made it clear that the issue of a referendum on the Eighth Amendment was a red-line issue for her. She also raised the issue with Lee Overodkar prior to his election as Tasha, urging that work get underway on the framework which would underpin the holding of the poll. Earlier this year when Tasha Lee Overodkar announced the much-anticipated referendum he did so flanked by Minister Zappone on one side and Health Minister Simon Harris on the other. Cork City GP Mary Favier is a founding member of Doctors for Choice and emerged as a key voice in the campaign to liberalise Ireland's abortion laws. She set up the group in 2002 with only a handful of members. Her experience as a GP fueled her decision to advocate for change, having encountered women from all walks of life who needed to access abortion services, she said. Dr. Favier played a prominent role in this campaign alongside doctors such as former Master of Hollis Street Dr. Peter Boylan and Dr. Rona Maffini, current Master of Hollis Street. Amanda Mellet and the co-founders of Termination for Medical Reasons TFMR on Saturday as he walked into the RDS during the count minister Simon Harris was wearing a Termination for Medical Reasons badge, and it was fitting. While much debate centered on the so-called hard cases throughout the campaign the stories of the families forced to access terminations abroad following a diagnosis of fatal fetal abnormality resonated with people nationwide. Amanda Mellet, who received such a diagnosis in 2011 and traveled abroad for it to rumination, joined with a number of other women in 2012 and formed the group. In addition to providing support for women and couples who received such a diagnosis the group also began to campaign for a change in Ireland's laws. Ms. Mellet separately took a case to the UN's Human Rights Committee and in a significant decision the committee found that the state had inflicted trauma on Ms. Mellet by forcing her to travel abroad. The state subsequently compensated Ms. Mellet. On Saturday just ahead of the final result TEH women of TFMR made an emotional statement in the RDS. Never again will any Irish woman or couple be treated the way that we were, tragedy will no longer be punished. Today compassion, understanding and common sense have prevailed, she said. Online Editors